Hey guys, can you hear me? Okay, welcome to Freckled Mom. That's good. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with my lights right now, guys. I can't figure it out. I don't know. I won't be able to see if I take my glasses off and I got some lines. So I'm just warning you guys all. Hello, hello. Okay, good morning. How are you guys? Who's here? Who's here? Hey, Crystal. Hey, Sandy. Yay, I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm a little hyped up today, guys. I had two coffees already. Oh, my God. Me on coffee is like me back in the old days. The old days. <laughs> so, I am definitely going to figure out some wrenches today, okay? So, before we do anything, we are going to talk shop. Okay, so like that's what we're doing today. I'm figuring out my lives. Okay, I'm saying hello to all my friends who is here. Hey, Rhonda. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to see you. I feel like I just talked to you guys, which I do like every day. So I don't know. I'm like so excited though to see you like in real life. Like, hey, what's up? So if you guys don't know, which I think you do, I'm Devin. Hi. I told you guys, I'm super hyper today. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna put that out there and you guys are just gonna have to deal with it. I am hyper, hyper today. I'm really excited. I got a lot of fun stuff to show you and have some fun stuff to talk about. So we'll wait till people start getting on. How am I feeling? Hmm, let's say my vitamins are kicking in, okay? And I got some really good news. So like, I'm just happy. If you guys don't know, I have like neuropathy and myoclonus, dystonia, and like all kinds of other like disabilities. And people call it like invisible disabilities because like I'm up and walking and talking. So I look super healthy, but I'm actually like not that healthy. So I am actually really healthy. I just have like a lot of issues, if that makes sense. So anyways, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. And I'm excited, guys. Okay. Let's figure out um, wrenches, okay? I'm going to figure this out real quick and then we're gonna move on. Okay, here we go. Ready? Sandy is, I think I did it. Sandy, are you a wrench now? So I love Sandy and I didn't even ask her to be a wrench, but she's a wrench because she's like super helpful all the time, so. That sounds kind of funny. She's a wrench and <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm going to relax now. I'm going to relax. Okay, let's read some stuff. Yeah, it's not that hot right now. Like, I don't follow, like, weather, like, everywhere else, but it's, like, not that hot right now. Uh, it was actually raining today, so I was inside, got a lot of stuff done, like, in the house. I don't know if I can handle these lights, guys. I'm going to move stuff around. I feel like the Joker. You know what I mean? Like, you know how he's got like stuff like drawn on his face. Yeah, that didn't help. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shut it off and we'll see. We'll see and you guys can just see me in the dark. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not guys. All right, you guys are just gonna deal with it because I wanna see what I'm doing. And yes, it's 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Dollarama? I have never been to a Dollarama. I've never seen one. I've never been to one. Maybe I have. I don't know. Okay, so I guess, what do you guys want to do first? You want me to tell you some fun news or you want me to get right into the Dollar Tree? So I'll tell you my fun news just to get it over with, get it out in there. So I was told, not told, but kind of um advise not to do like room makeovers because i'm a crafting channel but i like to do room makeovers and so i'm not gonna do it all the time but i am going to do it every once in a while sorry guys i was just shutting off my notifications so with saying that my basement is like super old and not finished but we have a finished section and i keep all my food and like all that kind of stuff in there and i have um like you know like canned food and kids snack food and that kind of stuff and you know like preparing for armageddon you didn't know what was happening for covid i might have gone a little crazy well maybe for the past couple of years so anyways 
I have a pantry area down there that I'd like to remake and I'd like to bring you guys along. So I wanted to put that out there and see who thought that was a good idea. Like who wants to do it? Who wants to do pantry organization, like Dollar Tree style? And that's my idea. So that's what I wanted to kind of give to you guys and see what you guys thought about it. And if you think it's a bad idea, I'm probably still going to do it. I'm just putting it out there though. And I'm excited because I love organization. I'm kind of like a, like a, like, like a checklist kind of person. I like to make lists and all that fun stuff. So I want to check up real quick and see what you guys are talking about. My goodness. Hey, we got some newbies. Hey, Phyllis, how are you? Hey, Cole, how are you guys? Thank you for coming on today. I'm so excited. I don't know if I should ever like warn you guys I'm doing a live, but I want to kind of keep my Saturday morning. So we're here. Let's jump right into Dollar Tree. So before I get started, I have my Dollar Tree cup today. And I don't always use this because they're not always like the best quality. Most of the time they are, but some of these ones aren't always the best. They're kind of leaky, but this one's actually really good. So water, no more coffee. I don't need any more caffeine today. Okay, guys. Oh, Crystal, thank you. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. So normally i take stuff out of bags and i look at what i have and i kind of organize it hey melissa thanks for stopping by so i don't have it organized today so we're just going to start pulling stuff out and you guys are just going to have to bear with me because like i said i'm hyper and we're just going to get through it guys okay so let's just do it nothing's organized and i hate the sound of bags opening but we're just going to have to deal with it today so let's start so if you guys know, I have a party coming up. So we just got a little cake slicer, which I don't know why I bought this because my son doesn't want a cake. So I guess I just bought it for like parties in general. But the Dollar Tree, if you didn't know, they have all kinds of sections. They have a craft section, like automotive, a beauty section, food. And then they have like a party section, like all kinds of party stuff. And it's really nice because if you go to the party store like i'm not knocking other stores believe me I'm not but if you go to the party store you are going to spend hundreds of dollars for one party like to get plates and napkins and all the utensils you're going to spend so much and there's no reason for it like seriously you don't have to i mean you could i mean that's cool if you want to Hi, Amy. Amy's here. Just so you guys know, me and Amy are the only people in the house today. So she's here. <laughs> it could get loud because now the dogs are going to be moving around. But so anyways, when you guys go to the dollar store, you can get all kinds of stuff. And party supplies is definitely on my list because that's parties, that's um, birthday parties and cookouts and all the different stuff. You definitely want to stock up. And obviously everything's a dollar. I'm going to my brother's cake. Okay. Bye. Have fun. Okay, guys. Now I'm the only one in the house. So if the dogs start going crazy, I'm the only one to handle it. So bear with everybody here. And, oh, bear with me and the dogs in the house today. Okay. So let's get back into the Dollar Tree stuff. Now that I gave you that wonderful introduction to party supplies at the Dollar Tree. So what is this? Oh, okay. So I got these plastic scoops and these are going to be like multifunctional so one you can use it for your ice you can use it for a dirt pie i am making a dirt pie this saturday i'm so excited hey missy that's okay were you cole is that what it was because i'm totally missing on that is that who cole was because <laughs> i'm like hey we got new people here that's all right, Missy. Don't worry. I go under my husband's name all the time. And if you guys have ever seen a Michael Frazado post on your video, that's really me, not my husband, because he doesn't really watch anything. So anyways, that's okay, Missy. We're all here. I appreciate it. So these are multifunctional. So I'm doing uh, a dirt cake and you can use it for ice and you can use it for crafts. So like um, if you're doing like a really cute garden theme or, you know, like just stuff like that, like a summer theme, a garden theme, you could even use this for, um, like coal in the summer, in the winter time, 
which I'm actually doing a Christmas in the summer. So maybe I'll do something with coal and I'll have a little coal shovel. Who knows? I don't know. But these are good for lots of uses. So here you go, guys. And there's two of them. So, you know, and this one, you only got one, right? Yeah, you only got one in here. This one, you get two. So all of Jeez, guys, I'm going to make a mess today. I'm telling you. So I definitely enjoy getting my party supplies at Dollar Tree. Okay, this isn't anything special. I've seen a bunch of you guys use these and I haven't seen them. So I have a bunch of Dollar Trees and thank you very much, Missy. And a bunch of Dollar Trees and some Dollar Trees are better than others. And the one that's like super close to me, like five minutes, I probably could walk there, but I'm not. I mean, maybe today, because like I'm all jacked up on caffeine. Maybe I could walk there today, but normally I wouldn't. I drive, but that Dollar Tree, it's like a hit or miss. Like they never have any of the new stuff. And I don't know. I still go there because it's closer, you know? So if I'm just running in for something, it's really convenient. So I got one of these guys. And okay. So I think I'm going to put stuff to the side because I have ideas for it and I want to run them by with you guys. So I'm going to move things to the side and then we will go back to it. This was not from Dollar Tree. This was in my car. So I was in like a parking lot one day and I saw this and it has like, it's like brand new. Somebody must've dropped it off the back of the truck and I was like, free is for me. So anyways, that was in my back seat. I figured I'd just throw it in, bring it into the house and use it for something. Well, Crystal, it's actually a big store. That's the thing. It's like a, it's a decent sized store. And like I told you, like I live in a city, but it's like a small city. So it's like, I don't know. It's weird. It's like a big town, small city. Like it's a I don't know, population city wise, but like the actual, you know, distance, oh, whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. I live in a city, but it's a small city and we don't get the best things, but the town over and it's a town, they get the best thing. So I have to drive on the highway and it's just a lot of work, you know? I mean, what would us Dollar Tree people do? Like we do a lot of things to get these Dollar Tree items. I think Dollar Tree should be like sponsoring all of us. They should be like, thank you. Yes, get our name out there. So I've seen people use these. I have not. I'm trying to make sure I'm in the right camera, guys. So if you can't see something and you can't hear me, let me know. So I've seen a couple of people do things with this. Um, I thought it was cute. And with our party coming up, I'm just looking for different things for decorations. So, oh, bye, Melissa. Sorry. Does it have a snack zone? Uh, yeah, I think so. Is there a special section that says snack zone or I don't know. Maybe it doesn't have one of those. I don't really pay attention to like the signs and stuff. I just like go, I just go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so these are good. And I don't actually, a lot of people have seen different things. So this one I'm actually going to use, I think I'm going to put, um, uh, my son's picture on it or like maybe some kind of you know, congratulations, 2021 kind of thing, just to, you know, have a little decoration for the party. So his high school colors are black and orange. And I don't know if I want to do black and orange. Like I know it's a graduation party, but it's also his birthday party. So I'm thinking I'm going to do like black and yellow, like sunflowers, summery, and maybe throw in some orange. Cause I think that'll be okay. I think yellow and black and orange all kind of go together and I guess we'll see that. Oh, bold signage. That's his snack zone. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that. So no Dollar Trees that I go to do that. So I guess I don't have any big stores. <laughs> That's probably why I never find anything. It's okay. I'll be all right, guys. All right. So the Dollar Tree, you guys all have seen these. I just like these. I think these are really nice. You can use them to work in your, like put it in your craft room and use stuff. You can put it in your kitchen for, you know, different seasonings and stuff. And, um, I mean, they're multifunctional, so everybody needs one of those. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I just got a bunch of these little things. I thought, like, little extra decoration. So not really to craft with, but just kind of throw it into, like, baskets or, you know, next to some kind of decor. Just to give it that little high-end kind of, I don't know, farmhouse look maybe. Cottage, nautical. I don't know. I guess you could, what is this? Is Because this one feels, actually, they both feel nautical. But then if you put it next to, like, burlap, I think it would feel, 
farmhousey. So what do you guys think? Are these farmhousey or nautical? Let me know. What do you think? I'm going to say it's either or, but I don't know how I'm going to use it. Who knows? I just thought they were cute. Uh, so I got a bunch of ribbon. I've used this ribbon in the past. I really like these. I actually am making uh, no sew because you guys know I don't sew. So I'm making no sew. Um, hey, Bridget, what's up? Thank you. I think it's both too. So I'm doing no sew. Um, what do you guys call them? Like curtain ties, like to hold back your curtains. So in my kitchen, I've never, and I've lived here for eight years. I've never put curtains in my kitchen. Why? I don't know. I enjoy the bright light. I don't know. But I decided to finally put curtains in my kitchen and now it's like super dark and I don't like it. So I need like some ties to go back. So I'm going to make some no sew ties and I'm using this ribbon. I already cut them to size. I just haven't actually made them yet. But I'm excited because that's, you know, they cost less than a dollar to make a bunch of ties. So I'm excited. And this is just a regular one. I have, I think I have one of these left and I'm running out. So I just wanted to kind of stock up on stuff. And then I love this one. I ran out of this one. This is one of my favorites. I like the polka dots. I like the white. I think it's cute. Okay, so I don't normally buy, you guys know, I say I'm not a girl. I say I'm not like, you know, the queen of like, you know, sparkles and stuff. But I'm a child of the 90s and I bedazzled like everything. So when I saw this, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it and I'll figure out something with it because it's not my style. I don't have a style. So I don't know why I say that because I don't have a style. So I guess it is my style. I'm going to figure out something with it. This I've actually never seen. So I thought these were so cute. I love gold. I love pink. Like those are my favorite, favorite colors. And I just love this. So I'm really excited about this. I'm not sure what I'll use with it, but I'll figure out something. I'm getting good at my bows. So hey, Denise, what's up? You're hiding in the fridge today. Yeah, we, uh, I don't have any air conditioners on yet, but I, I might, cause I feel like it's starting to get a little humid. So, so I got one of these and I have the other ones, you know, the ones that stand up like this and they have like a little bottom on it, but I never saw these ones. So I thought these were nice cause you can do a lot with them. You could like Mod Podge on it or write something. I thought it was cute. So... Okay, get rid of some bags, keep the receipts. If you're a YouTuber, keep your receipts because once you become monetized, you can claim everything. There's my advice for the day. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna show you guys something. It's not Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna veer off for a minute, okay? So my father-in-law, he gives me like the most random things and I love it. I love random things. You guys know I am just like, a, I just love random things. So. Look what he gave me. Napkins. How pretty are those? Oh my goodness. And some plates. I am in love with these. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the plates because there's only four of them. So if you guys know any Dollar Tree crafts or any crafts, really, it doesn't have to be Dollar Tree. If you guys know any crafts with paper plates, let me know because I got four sitting here. So it's not like I'm going to have a tea party for four people and be like, hold on, let me get out my four plates I have that are paper. So I'm really excited and I'm super thankful because these are so sweet. I love them. Oh, and then this. Sorry, guys. I totally forgot about this too. And then I guess these are placemats. How sweet are these? Now, I don't want to say anything because I know, I don't think he watches my YouTube channel. So maybe he's been feeling my shabby chic feeling. Maybe when he comes over, he's like, oh, she might like this. I don't know, but I love it. So I was like, yes, thank you so much. So anyways, I'm excited about that. Thank you. Rustic and Lace, what's your real name? I always forget your real name. I'm sorry. I'm like awful when it comes. I either know your real name or I know your YouTube name. I don't always know both. There's a problem. I got I got some memory issues. Yes, they are. No, they were not the Dollar Tree. I don't know where he got them. I never asked them. My husband brought them home and said, my dad said he got these for you. So he must have just saw them. He does, um, he's like a handyman and he's based in Taunton, Mass. And so he does 
like like he's been in business for like 40 years so he's like the handy man of the town you know of the city whatever town is and so people you know everybody knows him and he does a lot of um he does a lot of elderly people's jobs you know he's got great prices and people know him so they feel comfortable with him so i'm sure he was at someone's house doing some old lady's door frame or something and they were probably like here take these or he saw it and was like hey can i have those because he's one of those kind of guys so that's okay we're, we're all like that in my family are you gonna use that i'll take that thank you <laughs> okay you guys know me and glitter okay so i don't know why i buy things that have glitter on it like i have a problem i say i don't like glitter and then i'm surrounded in glitter and i don't know what my issue is but anyways these are super cute Look at these little guys. I know, I'm having a hard time with my camera, guys. I'm trying to... How cute are those? I haven't seen these. Hello, Summer. Like, hello, my goodness. I love them. I think they're super cute. They reminded me of, um, you, go, you guys know Leonette from DIY Beauty on Purpose. She had made huge cutouts of these, like humongous, like like humongous cutouts and they came out so cute so i was like oh my god now i can do it without power tools hey leonette <laughs> she's not here i'm just saying that when she watches hey <laughs> you guys you know how i say that oh my god it's so funny so you guys know i say like welcome to freckled mom i'm Devin. if you're new welcome and if you're returning hey so like that's like a thing now like when people see me they're like hey and i'm like oh my god <laughs> i started something and i didn't even realize it but it's okay i love it yes i know denise she did so amazing hey connie what's up all right let me see what i'm missing before i keep going 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 guess what for some of you who just got here guess what i figured out today i figured out some fun stuff Oh, I'm, I'm looking at the comments and I'm like, Brendan, who's Brendan? Brenda. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. So there's a couple Brendas now in the crafty world. Uh, one, two, three, three Brendas, four Brendas. How many Brendas are, uh, have um, YouTube channels? There's a lot, you guys. But I think there's only one Devin. There's a, there's a couple Fannies and Favies. We got a Fanny, a Favi. Uh... I mean, that's like the same name, right? It's just different. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess there's a lot of, there's so many YouTubers. It's crazy, which is great because lots of inspiration. Okay. Let's keep going. I got to stay on track, guys. If I start getting off track, tell me, Devin, get on track. Okay, guys, you ready? Ah, so cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's what I can do. I can just sit back. Sorry, guys. My brain is a little wild today. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. I love it. The little handle. Oh my goodness. And it does have this little straw thing. So if I don't want it, you know, you could just use like a razor blade and you just score it, you know, on the front and on the back and bend it, snap it off. And then this little guy I'll take off and I'll reuse for something else. And Connie, I don't know if there's another Connie now that you say that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I can't think. I don't think there is how cute is that and there are um different colors so like that blue that i just showed you on the flip-flop there was a blue and white one and i think there was like a green one and i'm not really sure there was a couple colors but you guys know me and like my peaches and corals and i just thought this was so sweet i mean it's cute as is like you could just hang this up and be like hey let's have a lemonade party i mean who doesn't love lemonade parties right right Lemonade parties. We all do that, right? Like we all have our friends over and have lemonade parties. Okay. I'm a little bit of a nerd. I have like a party for anything. I don't care what it is. If I can have a party, I'm doing it. So, okay. Oh, so this is cute. So this is just like around, you know? So, sorry guys. So I don't use power tools and I don't make my own wood rounds. I also don't go to Home Depot or Lowe's to buy wood rounds because I'm cheap. So I saw this and I was like, I'm going to make myself a wood round. So I actually got, um, I got wood rounds from the Target Dollar Spot and I don't think I've seen them ever since that one time. So I bought a whole bunch, which was great, but 
I haven't seen any kind of round guys for a while. So we got some rounds now. So go to your Dollar Tree. And let's do some rounds. I'm excited. Okay, let's see. Okay, so um, this, I've, I actually never got these before. I've seen them. Yes, Connie, because you are amazing. I know how to use power tools. Okay, don't think I'm like afraid of it. I just don't own them. So my husband, ever since I got sick, he's a little bit of like a, oh, you might hurt yourself. Oh, you might trip, which I mean, yeah, I do trip a lot. I just fell down the stairs. Like I'm still like, you know, nursing my wound and stuff. Um, but so he says he doesn't want me to have a saw because he thinks I'm going to cut my fingers off. And I'm like, I don't know, but let's try it anyways. So I have used saws and back in the day when I was like a single mom, like I had like my ex's stuff and I kept it like I had saws and like, um, like tree stump grinders. Like I had all kinds of wacky stuff. And I was like, this is mine now. Like I got the kids, I got the tools, you got the house, like, you know, and I kept everything and I used everything. So I am definitely not like afraid of power tools. I'm just not like the best. Like I'm not like, oh, let me just run out to my garage and zzz, zzz, you know, I'm not one of those kind of people, but I could be. So get ready. I could be. Yes, Crystal. So I do do it. I do do it. So I actually haven't bought any of these. Like, um, I think they keep these a lot of times in the kids section, but this one was in like the party section. Um, so I thought this was cute because obviously, you know, it's the shape of, you know, like a vase or a bowl. So you could do like a really cute, um, like 3D, um, I'm having a brain fart now, succulents. So you can make some kind of like little succulent thing, or you could just make like a thing filled with flowers. And I just thought this was cute. So I got that. And like I said, that I didn't find that in the kids section. I found that in the party, like new summer section that they have. So I got one of these. I haven't actually used one of these from the dollar store. So let me know if you guys, yes, yeah, seasonal, sorry. Yeah, seasonal party. It's the same thing, right? I mean, it was all party stuff. So let me know if you've used these and if they work good because I haven't actually used these ones yet. They're the um, inflatable ones. So I got that for William's party and I probably should have got gold, but I don't think I saw gold. So can you spray paint this? I don't know. Can you spray paint inflatable things? I don't know if it would do something to it. I don't see why not, but I have a feeling I've spray painted something that was a balloon before and it popped. I don't know. Can you guys let me know? Tell me that. Fellas, that's okay. You can come to my lemonade party. <laughs> Do you guys, have you spray painted one of these before? Can I spray paint the inflatable decor? Because I'd like to make this gold. That's what I'd like to do. I don't have a lot of time, guys. Like, the party's on Saturday, and I, I'm cleaning and organizing and obviously making videos, and now I'm, like, spray painting floatable decor? I don't know. Okay, Connie, thank you. Well, okay, you're right, Crystal. Yes, yeah, so... It was in the seasonal section, but it was in the seasonal section that had all the party seasonal stuff. That's where I got that. Okay, so I've actually never used these. Um, well, I mean, I've used them, but not from the dollar store. So let me know what you guys think. These are the uh, Sterno heaters for like the, I use um, those Sterno like catering things. And I normally get these in a three pack at the Christmas tree shop, but I haven't got a Christmas tree shop in like two weeks. So I haven't, I probably have like a million of these in the basement and I'm just kind of lazy to go look, but see, they're like liquid. And so I don't know how well they're going to work. Cause I'm used to the ones in the gel, you know, that when you open them, they don't move and I'm kind of clumsy. So I don't know how great this is going to be. Hey Ron, tell Ron I said, hi, I can't wait to see Ron two weeks, two weeks, 25th right? The 25th. So if you guys are a crafter and you have a husband or a best friend or a brother or a sister, you have somebody who you want to craft with on the 25th, what's Jamie making? And I are hosting a crafty couples challenge. We did one a couple months ago. It was hilarious. So much fun. We're doing, oh, what is this? We're doing it again, and this time it's a thrifted item. So you don't, you can do as many as you want. I mean, I don't think there's a limit. But there should be. Yeah, we should do that. So there's going to be a limit. I don't know what it is. I'm just doing one because 
it's a lot of work to craft with your spouse. Okay. I'm just going to put that out there. I love my husband to death. We cannot put furniture together. And although we do cook really well together, but crafting together, we don't have the same style. So we're doing one project. So it's one thrifted project. That's exciting. I can't wait to see Ron. So excited. I don't know who's going to be in it. So I'm really excited though. So it's one thrifted item and the crafter, like the crafter of the channel. So freckled mom will not be making any decisions. So my husband will be making all the decisions. He's picking out the thrifted item. He's picking out the colors. He's picking out everything. So that's what this one is about. It's the couple or the brother or the sister, or the best friend, whoever the non-crafter or the, you know, not the channel person, whoever that person is, is the one to make all the decisions. So it's going to be exciting. And then right after that is mine and Connie's. It's the here's your crown and it's our second month. I'm really excited. And that one is, if you want to be part of it, it's, we have a group on Instagram as well. But it's, um, you take three to five, you make three to five DIYs. One of them has, you can do all of them, but one of them, at least one has to be from a female YouTuber. Um, I think, Connie, have we opened it up that like, it can be like a female Etsy shop or a female, whatever, like Instagram, or it can be anything as long as it's a female. Um, but the whole point is that we're women supporting women and we want to embrace you know, females, we want to embrace small businesses and, you know, YouTube channels are small businesses when you think about it. So we want to embrace that and we want to support one another. So it's a great challenge. And that's on June 26th. Yes. Yes, Brenda. So tell your husband. And so you guys will have, it's two weeks, it's two weeks from now. So you guys have time to get one craft going, edit it and let's go. It's going to be fun. We haven't even started ours yet. So Yes, we are going to have so much fun. We have so much fun stuff coming up this summer. Like everybody has some amazing collaborations. There are a lot of like hops and playlists coming out. Like I'm in one with a bunch of people who like I haven't worked with yet. So I'm really excited. And we're doing, um, it's hosted by Deco Easy and it's like, I don't know the name, so I'm sorry, but it's like summer, winter and summer or something like that. It's Christmas in July or something like that. I don't know the name of it, but it's all Christmas stuff and it's in July and I'm super excited. So I'm excited for that. There's so much going on. So if you guys have some fun stuff, um, if you guys have like fun challenges and fun things that you want to talk about, put it in the comments, let people know, like if you have something coming up, post it. You know, we are all about sharing the fun and sharing the love. I want to hear everything. And I do go back through the comments after, um, because I, you know, squirrel brain and, you know, crazy brain. So I do go back after and I write down when people are having certain stuff, just in case I want to be part of it, you know, cause you never know. So, okay, we're going to keep going. So anyways, yeah, those, um, those are these things and I'm not really sure about them. So we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I missed what you were asking me. I'm sorry, Denise. Oh, Denise. No. Um, okay. Sorry, Denise. Thank you for actually saying that. So on the 26th, so it's the last Saturday of every month, and I can add you to the group. Send me a message and remind me so I can add you to the group. We, Connie and I were talking about it. And like I said, this is our second month doing it. So it's still new. It's still our baby. It's still, you know, things are changing. Um, so this is our second month doing Here's Your Crown. Um, and we have a co-host. So it's hosted by Connie's Nails and Creations and myself. And now we have a co-host, Sandy. Um, oh my God, Sandy, I'm having a brain fart. Lumber mill. I'm having a brain fart, guys. What's Sandy's channel? Sandy, post your channel. Sandy Lumber Mill DIY. Oh my goodness, you're the guy. See, I told you, I either know your name or know your YouTube. Not both, guys. I can't. I don't have enough space up here, okay? I got too much creativity going on. That was a joke. That was a joke. Okay. So, um, yeah, so we have the co-host of Sandy this month. And what we're doing is if you do not have a YouTube channel or if you um, have a YouTube channel, but you just can't get a video out because we understand that, like you can't always do every single playlist on Instagram on that day, you can still post and you can, I'm going to have like a little write up like I did last month. And it just says like, 
you know, what we're doing. Like this is for women supporting women. And then you can share your picture and share who, you know, tag the person who you are inspired by and say something like a little brief thing. Like I was inspired by this channel for this reason or whatever you want to write about them. Like maybe they inspired you in real life, you know, just because we watch YouTubers, like we watch them and we're, you know, we are obviously we're inspired for crafting reasons. Sometimes you get inspired in real life, something that they went through, maybe something that they talk about. And like Anna Lee Ashby, at the end of all her videos, she has this amazing segment. And some people, I don't know if they watch it because some people don't watch the ends of videos, but she has this amazing segment where she just talks about life and advice and just like wonderful, beautiful message for people. And you know, and it's just amazing. So you don't even realize how someone can inspire you, or maybe that person doesn't realize how you inspire, they inspired you. So I think it's a great challenge. And yes, if you don't have a YouTube channel, you can still do it on Instagram. Long story short, sorry. I told you guys I had so much coffee today. I'm really sorry. Okay. I saw somebody, so you guys know I did, um, here's a little box, super cute. So I was in um, Swap My Stash earlier this week and my um, we had to give our craft supplies to somebody else and that person had a craft with it. And I had to give my supplies to Lynn from Hot, hot Glue. Oh my God, you guys see I'm awful. Hot Mess and Hot Glue, right? So I sent my supplies to Lynn and she made this adorable little treasure box. I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. So when I saw this, I was like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I don't think I'm going to make a treasure box. I think I'm going to make something for my nephew because, you know, he's little. And he likes little things. So I think I'm going to make him some cute little something. I don't know. Maybe put like little candies in or something. I don't know. So I had the, got these. I thought these are cute. And they're wooden. They had different styles. Um, I think they had like watermelons and lemons, which I've seen people do. But I haven't seen these ones. So I like these ones. Um, I love pineapples. And obviously I love flip-flops. Like I wear flip-flops like almost all year long. The only time I don't wear flip-flops is like maybe like January and February. And even then sometimes I do it. So I don't know. I have neuropathy. My feet are always hot. I love, I love my flip-flops. I love sandals. So now I got some wooden sandals. So. I am missing comments, guys, because I am just talking, talking, talking. Hey, Melissa, you're back. I thought you left. You guys, if you don't know what Melissa just got, well, she, I don't know if she just got it. When did you get it, Melissa? So you guys know I talk about, like, she sheds and, like, I want to make, like, a whole wing of my house that's just, like, crafting. Anyways, I got big dreams. It's going to happen, okay? So Melissa got a camper and she's redoing it to a she shed and I'm so excited. So she's been sharing a little bit of that on her channel. So if you guys don't know Melissa, Melissa makes it DIY. Go to her channel, subscribe, follow her, watch what she's doing because I'm so excited. And now I want a camper and I'm probably going to get one because you guys know how I am. I'm Miss Impulse and I'm like, let's do it. And my husband's like, oh, my God, like, he can really kill me sometimes. Like, I get him so crazy. I feel bad, but I can't help it. I'm crazy. Yeah, I know, Denise. They're super cute. Like, I don't know. I, I think they're, um, I've, I've seen them in other sections. I don't know if the craft section has them in different, um, like, like, little styles, but where I got those in the seasonal section, thank you, Crystal, um, they had different ones. So I really like that. So, okay. If I'm missing your comments, guys, I am sorry. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get better at it. I promise I am. So today I learned wrenches. Thank you. I learned wrenches. And you guys know last week I kicked off one of my friends. <laughs> I felt so bad and I didn't know how to get her back. So I am going to see, make sure that we're every time I get better and better at my lives. So that way it's a little less painful for you guys to watch. Yes. Yes, Brenda. Everything was at the every. Oh, no. OK, I'm going back to old comments, guys. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. OK. Where are we now? OK. I'm going to start over, guys. I'm sorry I missed so many comments. I'm going to get better, I promise. Okay, so, oh, 
See, I have a brain fart. I did get them. So these are now we, so I have a lot of these ones now. So I'm going to have to do something with pineapples. So these are the ones that are like lemons and watermelon. And I just really love them. They have like little sticky guys in the back. Um, I don't think they're that sticky though. So I do a little bit of hot glue if you're going to, just saying. So you guys, I am, you don't even know what's going on today. I am just so wild. I have like my little cricket machine is on like, um, I don't know if I can't even show you guys. It's on like a rolly cart, but the top of it is flat. So I'm just like sticking stuff on there. So that way I can ship it all out. So if you guys know on my deck, I have, um, we've got it at like uh, home Depot. It's one of those huge outdoor storage containers. Um, like a, the opening one. And I have that on my deck for all my Dollar Tree stuff, just so I have extra. Because you guys see, I have, like, storage, but it's not, like, the most amazing. And, like, over here is, like, a whole section of storage stuff. So I ran out of it, ran out of storage, and my garage is too far away if it's raining. So I have it on my wraparound deck. So that way, if it's raining, I can still go out and get my stuff. So my idea was, after this live, I can just take my rolly cart and just push it, you know, like a little serving tray and just push it through the house and then bring it outside and just put all my stuff away. I don't know if that'll happen, but I was trying to be, you know, proactive because I got a busy day. Oh, so while you guys are all here tonight, I'm going to be on the family feud again. <laughs> I don't know if it's a theme again. I haven't even asked her, so we'll see. Um, it would be cool if it's a theme, but it doesn't have to be. So, um, that's exciting. So I, I'm guessing it's at seven o'clock again. So if you guys aren't busy tonight, Family Feud on the Leany channel. Ah. Crafty Leany, Leany's, I don't know, because I follow Leany on a couple different channels. So I don't know if it's a Crafty Leany or a Leany's World or, but you guys know Leany, it's Leany. So on Leany's channel where she has all her games and stuff like the scavenger hunt and all that, we're doing Family Feud again, so. Oh, yeah, guys. So I just saw that in the comments, Brenda. Thank you. So some people, oh, actually, so it doesn't even matter if you're trying to get monetized or not. Maybe you could just help out a YouTuber. If you have like a TV and you're cleaning and you have a smart TV, you can put your YouTube on. Or if you have, you're on your computer and you have all the tabs on your computer, you can open up one of your favorite YouTubers that you want to support and you don't have to give them money. You know, you can just support them by putting one of their playlists on. So a lot of YouTubers have one full playlist that has all their videos and you can just turn it on, you hit play all and then go about your business and go do other stuff. I've heard you could leave it on mute. Other people say you can't leave it on mute. I don't know. I personally on my own one, when I have my husband play mine, I put it on mute. But what it does is people who aren't monetized yet, it allows them to gain their hours to become monetized. And for the YouTubers who are monetized, all the ads will play. So it helps them out. So, you know, it's a nice little thing to do and you don't have to actually give money to anybody and say, here's my money, take it. You can just let their videos play and it's a big help. And I know everybody appreciates it. So just a little thought in the back of your head. So I play a lot of my, friends and a lot of my friends play mine and I'm super appreciative. So I'm almost there guys. I'm at, at this point, I thought I was at, I thought I needed 900 more hours before I was monetized, but I'm not sure. So don't hold me to it, but I'm getting there guys and I'm excited and it wouldn't be possible without all of you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I'll get a new tattoo. <laughs> Once I'm monetized, I'll buy crafts and get new tattoos. We'll get like a hot glue tattoo or something. Just kidding. I won't do that. <laughs> Actually, that's not like a bad idea. I mean, I do like tattoos. Anyways, okay. So we have another bag, guys. We're almost there. I'm not going to leave you guys all day watching YouTube stuff on Dollar Tree, but I got another bag. So let's bring this guy up. Oh, so I'll show you the bag while I have it here. So my Dollar Tree ran out of bags. And she was like, I don't have any big bags. And I was like, that's okay. I was going to buy this anyways. So just load it up. So that's loaded up. We'll get to that. Okay, guys. All right. Uh, yes, Crystal, it does work if you rewatch videos. So I have my husband. He plays um, mine every day, all day long, over and over and over. I think it, um, it might be every 24 hours. I'm not sure how often it, it like resets it, but... Um, 
Like, I don't think you could just watch this video over and over and over. You know what I mean? I think you, you would have to just watch like the whole playlist and maybe like a couple days later, put it back on again. I'm not sure about that resetting time, but yes, just hit play all and let it go. Like I have like on my computer right now, who do I have going? Uh, I have crafting in Mimi's world. I have crafty cove. And, oh, I guess that's all I have right now, guys. Sorry. I had a lot more the other day, and I must have shut it down for something. But so I just leave them going in my background, like, um, you know, on the tabs. How you have tabs, like, on your internet browser, and then I just minimize it, and it still plays. Because, like, I'll come back to it a couple hours later, and, like, so many videos went through. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, that's crazy. Um, I mean, I wouldn't do it on your phone, because then, you know, it's... I mean, you could, but it's just, you know, if you're going to use your phone and stuff, I just, I think it's nice, you know, for people who have smart TVs and computers because you don't have to do anything. You know what I mean? You just put it on and then go about your day and it's not like taking up all your time and you don't have to sit there and comment and like, oh my God, it's so cute. You just play it. You know what I mean? So it's not something, you know, I'm telling people, you have to go watch people's playlists. It's just, if you think of it and you're on your computer, throw it on and just let it play in the background, you know? So I, I like doing that. I think it's sweet. Okay. So we all know about these. Okay. So I actually use these in my craft room and they're not even painted. And I just put like this one's like for my little hangers for pictures and stuff. I have another one for like hooks and, um, and I just keep them cause they're nice little containers, but I am doing some shabby chic. And so I was thinking of, um, I, I should be pre more prepared for this, but, oh, that's cool, Connie. I never thought of that. If you have an old, um, like an old tablet or an old um, phone that you're not using, that's a good idea. I didn't think of that. And so, oh, Missy, thank you so much. Me and Missy, we are like two alike. And it's so funny. And like, I love that we get to meet other people from like around the world, but like, people who are like crafting and we have so much in common and like we would have never met them if it wasn't for our YouTube channels or social media. So it's just so much fun. You know, I just love it all. So, um, I'm doing shabby chic and I haven't done it yet, but I'm thinking, um, actually you guys can tell me, does Michael's or Joanne fabric sell like fake little knobs, like in a, like a whole pack of them, because I have three of these I want to do, but I was thinking maybe four, and I want to get like the little knobs that are, um, you know, like the bling, like the, they look like little crystals, you know, like the crystal knobs. Cause I thought that would look good with like the shabby chic thing. So I don't know. That's what I'm planning on doing with these little box. Oh, thank you, Connie. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go get me some little knobs and I want the little crystal ones. And then I'm going to do some shabby chic stuff and I'm really excited. So on Tuesday, I know guys, I'm cutting it real close, but on Tuesday, I'm doing a collaboration with Kathy Crafty's Creations, and I'm really excited, and we decided to do Shabby Chic, so I'm excited to see what she does. Oh, Hobby Lobby. I don't know why I always forget about Hobby Lobby. You know why? It's because they're not, like, super close to me. They're, like, you know, like, 20 minutes on the road, so I don't think of them, you know? All right, guys, let's get into this. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know what I bought. I don't even remember now. I just did this, so... Oh, goodness, Lord. Oh, I'm making such a mess. All right, so we saw the blocks. So we'll get rid of these. I'm running out of space, guys. Okay, so this is cool. I've actually seen these, but I've never seen them at the dollar store. So it's one of those. Hold on, guys. We need to get better situated over here because I got something that's glass. I'm having a hard time, guys. Okay. We're here. Okay. Take a deep breath. Anytime you get frazzled, just take a deep breath. It fixes everything. I promise you it does. Okay. We're back. Crisis averted. Look at this cute little water bowl dispenser. My goodness. It's so cute. So my cat goes through water like, I don't know. He definitely doesn't have like diabetes or anything. It's just maybe because it's summertime and it evaporates. He goes through water like crazy. 
So I'm sticking this. I'm putting it in the kitchen, though, so that way I can keep an eye on it to make sure that it's not, like, dirty and stuff like that. Because you definitely don't want them to have dirty water. So I'm going to put it in the kitchen so I can keep an eye on it. But how cute are these? Oh, really? So that's what – okay, Crystal, thank you. So I that's I didn't think I ever saw these before. And I was like, this is so cute. So now we can all feed our animals some water. Okay. I got this. So this is just a party bowl. And I got a clear one. Because if you guys know, I love Blue Guns and Roses. And she does like all kinds of like... Um, obviously Dollar Tree Press, but she does like crazy stuff where she like glues things together and spray paints it. And I need to get into that. Like I need to do more of that. So that's what I got this for. Not so much to serve, but to do some kind of gluing that looks bad. Um, some kind of like gluing project. I don't know. We'll see. I have ideas, but I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So anyways, I just buy things. I never have an idea for it and then I start thinking and I'm like oh that's it and it just pops in my head and then I do it so that's that uh let's see no we're gonna do this we're gonna do this so we don't get out of the way oh goodness so I don't know if I've ever seen these how adorable is this they had all kinds of this is one of those um you know little reed diffusers so it has the oil the scented oil and then you put the wood in it and then the wood soaks up the oil and then you get nice smellies and so this one, oh yeah, definitely. You definitely, if you don't have good water in your town, you definitely want to give the cats like, you know, boily water or something like that, you know, because they can get really sick. You know, our animals are just as important as we are and we don't want to feed them, you know, bad food and bad water and stuff like that. Um, but this, there was so different, so many different uh, scents. And this one I got because I just love you know, eucalyptus, but they had a bunch of them. So I'm really excited. Have you guys seen these? Hey, Detria, what's up? How are you? Did you get your shirt yet? If you guys didn't know, Detria won the shirt. Not the shirt I'm wearing, but a different shirt, a different size that says uh, there's no crying in baseball. And I love that shirt. I love that movie. So anyways, I was super excited. And of course, I was super excited that it was one of my favorite subscribers. You're all my favorite subscribers. I don't have favorites. I have some favorites, okay? It's not that I have a favorite. It's just if, you know, certain people, they talk more than others. So you get closer to them. You know what I mean? You're all my favorites. I don't pick favorites. I shouldn't have never said that. But I do kind of have favorites. I'm just saying. It's like I said. It's just because you guys, we talk. And then you have, you know, you guys have things in common and stuff like that. So it's like you get closer to certain people. And, you know? So whatever. I don't have favorites. The same. Everybody who's here right now is my favorite, just so you know. And that is a truth for real. Okay. So I got more of these. I already showed you guys that. We got like the Leaning Tower of Pisa over here. I don't know about that. That's a bad idea. I'll be going back to the dollar store because I broke everything. Okay, so this is nothing special. I think I think this has been here for a while. Um, again, I'm just trying to stock up and stuff for the party and, you know, put a picture of William in here because William's turning 18. Oh, my goodness. My baby. 18 years old. I don't feel old enough to have an 18-year-old. Like, right? <laughs> I just can't. I can't. I just, I don't like, like, I know, like, time goes by fast and, I just, I can't believe it's gone by that fast. Like I, people tell you when you get pregnant, they're like, treasure these moments because they go by fast. And like, I remember everything, but like, it just happened so fast. Like, it's just like, oh my God. Like, I remember literally like baby stuff and then like being on like a baseball field. And now I'm like, oh my God, like, this is crazy. It's just, they do, they grow so fast and it's wild. So <laughs> I hate you all the same. <laughs> I like teachers like that. They make me laugh. Okay, so we're almost done, guys. We don't have a lot more stuff. So these are just those, like, you know, the nice thick ones. I had gotten one that looked like um, like a shaped kind of one, and I did it in my, with the, my first rub-on that I ever did. I was so excited. So I really like these because they're, like, you know, super solid. They're really nice. Oh, 23. Oh, my goodness. I know. 
you know, I only have two kids. So my, my younger son, he's 14, he's almost 15. And I tell him cause he, he, he doesn't like kids. Okay. He doesn't like babies. He doesn't like kids. And he, ever, he said, if I ever got pregnant again, he'd move out. So that was that kind of, you know, that kind of life. Uh, I was afraid to actually have another kid. So I was like, I don't know what he would do if I had another kid. But now that he's getting older, I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, I don't even know. Like, I feel like I need another baby. I need something like I need like a puppy. Oh, do you guys know that story? Oh my goodness. So I think if you guys watch my crafty, um, the crafty couple challenge, you heard this story. So my husband has no children and he's younger than me. Just saying, you know, rocking the cradle a little bit, robbing the cradle or rocking the cradle. I don't know, whatever it is. So he's a little younger than me and he doesn't have any children. And I already had two. So when we got married or, you know, before we got married, we talked about it. Like if we're going to have kids or not. And his brother has kids. And so I said, like, do you want to have kids? Because is that like a dream of yours to have your own children? You know, some people have that. Some men have that dream to have their own children. And my husband was like, no, he was like, your kids are enough. And I was like, my God, that's why I'm marrying you, my hero. And it was so sweet. But for real, I wanted to say to him that, you know, if you want to have kids, I'm ready. Like my womb is still open. We can have kids, you know, we can do this. And I love babies. So, so I gave him the option. I said, if you want, when we, after we get married, because both my kids were born out of wedlock. So, you know, when I actually got married for the first time, I was going to do it right. Like we're not going to have a baby until I'm married 30 years old. I'm going to be married before I have a kid. <laughs> so I offered him to have a baby and I said, we could have a baby or we could have a puppy. And he said, a puppy. And then we got Ginger. And so she was our first baby. Well, actually, no, we had a kitten together, but we weren't married. So it didn't count, you know, because I made that stipulation. No babies until after marriage. So we had our baby and she's amazing. I don't know where she is. She's not like Miko. She's not like always up my bum. She's like, you know, she can just do her own thing, you know. So she's probably on a couch somewhere. I don't know where she is. But anyways, she's the sweetest thing and she's our baby. So... Crystal, now that you say that, so I, when my kids were little, I used to work with mentally handicapped people and I always mentally challenge, but there's so many words that are politically correct, all that stuff. And I used to work with them and I love them. I love them all. They were, I used to bring them home to, you know, Christmas and Thanksgiving. Like I just love them so much. They became part of my family. And one of them was D and D was, oh, I don't want to start crying. Maybe I'll save that story. <laughs> so anyways, we thought about fostering and we, my husband isn't a big fan of it. Um, so I think he's more worried about like the kids coming into the house, like what kind of issues they're going to have. And if it's something we could handle, um, we did this year, actually, we became guardians of, um, my son's best friend and he lived with us this whole year and, we became legal guardians and it was amazing. And he graduated just the other day with my son and he turned 18 in February. So legally, I'm not like his guardian any, anymore, but he's, he's still part of our family. So, and it really was, you know, something we didn't, it's not that we didn't have a choice, but it was, um, he really was in a hard spot. And we always told him, if you ever need anything, we're always here. And the time came and courts got involved and it was just one of those kind of things. And so we did it and it was definitely um, a change. <laughs> it was definitely a change when you bring in some, you know, another person's child into your home when you're not, um, it's not that we weren't equipped. It's just like, we're not foster parents, you know? So we didn't have all that extra training and all that stuff that goes into it. So it was definitely different, but, um, it was, it was a lot, you know, and we, we, it was like a lot of love. Like, that's what I mean. Like it was so much fun and it was just, it was amazing for the holidays because, you know, he got to spend the holidays with us and we just had such, you know, such a great time. So, um, Phyllis, 54 years old. My goodness. You don't look old enough to have a 54 year old. So kudos to you. My goodness. I'm just going through your comments, guys. I was seeing them pop up and then I was getting into my story and almost started crying. So oh. I'll tell you guys about D one day. She's amazing. 
Ah, uh, you guys, you're so sweet. My goodness. Okay. Oh, Brenda, that's so sweet. Oh, babies. I love babies so much. I really do. If I, if I didn't get sick, I would have had more babies. I just think with me getting sick, I don't think it's fair to them because I have issues on the stairs and I know you, I could just buy a, a single level house and be fine. But like I got flare ups and stuff. And when I have a flare up, like, like that's it. Like I can't have, I would never be able to have my nephew over when I had a flare up and like just having my nephew over, like, and I'm not saying it causes a flare up, like, don't get me wrong. It's just like when he comes over, he sleeps over and he'll be over all day into the night and then into the next day. And after he's gone, like, I feel it like my back hurts, my neuropathy starts acting up and it like, it didn't hurt while he was there. So it's like, he didn't cause it. It's just like, whether I got myself so hyper and excited and doing all kinds of fun stuff, or maybe I just wasn't drinking enough water, whatever reason, I always feel it after, you know? So like, I, I love spending time with kids and like, I babysit my friends, kids, whenever they ask me to, like, I have no issues. Like give me all the babies. I will take them all. I love them. I just don't think I could handle the actual being a mom thing again to a baby. I just like my physical health. I just don't think I could do it. And it's, it's sad, but woe is life. So I had two amazing babies and I am very happy. And I think I will just hold out for the grandkids. And I mean, I'm 37. So, I mean, I know people have kids, like all my friends are just having kids and I'm like, I can't imagine that, you know? And so it's totally like normal. Oh, did I misread that? Oh my God, Phyllis. I don't know. Did I misread that? I don't know, Phyllis. I don't know how old your kid is. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. I was going off on a tangent. I lost my train of thought. I'm not having any more babies. I'll take more puppies though. Okay. So let's talk about puppies. We'll get puppies. Okay. We're almost done, guys. I never saw these. What a pretty shape, huh? They had yellow purple. Um, I don't think they had clear. So I got the green because I was doing the shabby chic feel and I was thinking green would probably be like the shabby chicness, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was cute. So I got that and it's like super thick, you know, you guys know Dollar Tree stuff. Like it's, there's some really good stuff. You have to look around, you know, it's a lot of good stuff. So this is just a plain block, nothing special, but I had made you guys know, like I said, that stat, swap my stash was um, stuff we, like my stuff came from, I'm having brain farts, guys. My coffee now, like all that caffeine is like going out of my system now. It's all gone, all gone. So I, my stuff was from Ellie from DIY house, house to home, house from DIY from house to home. And she had given me some foam blocks. And I've never done anything with foam blocks. But then I made these guys. And they were so cute. And I was like, my God, I love blocks. I want to do more blocks. So anyways, I saw these. And I was like, you know what? Wood is much easier to paint and decorate than foam. Because I kept getting my, I kept like hitting my fingernail into it. And like it would peel up the paint. And I was like, God, this is like a lot of work to paint foam. Maybe I'm the only one, but I was having some issues. Oh, that movie. I feel like I've seen that movie. I can't think of what that movie is right now, but it sounds familiar. I used to be into all like the kid movies. Like myself, I am like a Disney person. Like I love Little Mermaid and Lady and the Tramp and like all the Disney movies like that I grew up with, I still watch like as an adult, like I'm sitting here just singing along. Like I got my Annie going and I'm just singing like, you know, it's a hard knock life. You know, like my husband's like, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> but I'm like, you know, I just, I like those kind of movies. But now that the kids are older, like I don't know any of the other movies. Like I don't know any of them. So, oh, you know what? I don't think I saw that one. I know what you're talking about now that you said that it was um, Natalie Portman, but I don't think I saw that. I'm going to have to. I really haven't watched too many, like I said, newer ones. I kind of stopped. I'm trying to think. I don't even know what the last Disney movie was that I bought. Um, I'm looking, but I can't see that far away. I got bad eyes. I don't know. I love Disney movies, though. I love kid movies. I'm such a 
you know, big softy when it comes to kids stuff. If it's like a rated G, I'm like, yeah, bring it on. Woo. Like I get all excited. Like anything that has animals too, like the dog movies and like air bud and all that. Like, I just love that stuff. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll watch it on oh, my cabinet. Yeah. These are built-ins. These are one of the reasons I bought this house. So when we pulled up again, city, I'm not a city girl. I grew up in Plymouth, like America's hometown. Like I grew up in, you know, the most beautiful place in the world. And when my realtor said, we're going to go look at a house in the city, I'm like, uh, uh, nope, not me, not happening. But then we pulled up and I saw it and I was like, oh my goodness, it's my house. I love it. And then I walked in and that was it. Like, it's just so much character and oh, the built-ins, there's a butler's pantry. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, Crystal. I can't watch movies that make me cry. I cry at commercials. Seriously. Like I'm watching the, not even like the dog commercials. Like I cry at like cell phone commercials. Like I am bad. If there's like a, a commercial about like calling home to your parents, I'm just like, ah! like I can't, I can't watch that stuff. All right. So I didn't get that wrong, Phyllis. Well, you look good for your age, sister. Did I ever show you guys this? Oh, maybe I bought two. I bought two of them. Okay. I already showed you that. I bought two. All right, we are getting there, guys. I said I wasn't going to be a wicked long one today, but you guys know I can talk. Something wrong with me. I don't know. In school, Jesus, in school, I had a word limit. I know. I don't, I don't know who ever thought of this. I don't know if it was like a principal thing. I don't know if it was like my parents, but I had a word limit. And if I went over my word limit and I spoke like in class, like after my word limit, I'd get detention. Like, who does that to a kid? Like, hello, that's so rude. And then I was in Spanish class and I used to speak in English. And my Spanish teacher said, you can no longer talk in our class until you speak Spanish. And then I was like, yo hablo espanol and mi espanol muy buena. Like, I don't know. My Spanish got so good, like overnight. Like literally I ended up going to Spanish 5, accelerated AP. I was going to go to college for Spanish. Like... I became the best Spanish speaker ever because I couldn't talk in English anymore. And I was like, I'm going to talk, like I'm talking. So I'm speaking Spanish and that was it. I just love talking guys. You guys know this. It's all right. I'm sure that's why you're all here. <laughs> oh my God, Bridget. Oh God. I can't do crutches. I cannot do crutches. I can't. It's like a, some people have, it's like, um, uh, what's it called? Um, it's a brachial plexus. So uh, some people have it. There's like a bundle of nerves that sit right under your armpits. And when you have um, crutches, it actually pinches the nerve going through your arms. And it's actually kind of dangerous if you have that. It's just like a certain kind of um, anatomy of your body. Men have it, women have it. But it's like um, brachial plexus is like um I don't know. It's just like a, the way the nerves go. It's like a bundle of nerves. And if they get pinched a certain way, it can cause like nerve damage and, you know, weakness. And it's just like, it's super bad. So be careful if you've got crutches, you know, give your time yourself time to, you know, let yourself breathe, you know, let the nerves breathe and stuff. Detria, I talk to trees. <laughs> my husband's like, what's wrong with you? Like I have a huge tree in my backyard and I talk to it and it talks back to me. I love energy. I, you know, we all, we're very um, susceptible to others' energies, but we're also susceptible to animals' energies and trees and plants and animals. And that's why plants, you know, if you sing to your plants, they grow better because it's an energy thing, you know? So I talk to trees. It's okay. I like to. It's all right. See, Connie, I, I knew you guys are my kind of people. You guys are just talkers like me. All right. Okay. One more thing. And I'm going to show you the last idea. Okay. So this is one of those things, you know, like for the kindergartners, like I'm such and such old and this is how big I am. My don't tell my son, like, don't go to his Instagram and be like, guess what your mom's planning. And thankfully no one's home and he doesn't watch my YouTube. So whatever, we're not going to get into that. I was going to make one of these for his 18th birthday. I thought it was going to be really funny. Cause it's like, um, you know, I can write like, William, I am 18 years old. <laughs> He's going to kill me. I can't. And so uh, getting so big and tall. And then, you know, I'm going to say he's 6'1". And 
I'm gonna, I don't know how many teeth you have. I'm not a dental person. That's my sister. I'm medical. My sister is the dentist. So she's not dentist, dental hygienist. That's the name. So I was gonna Google how many teeth an adult has and like write down how many teeth he has. And I thought that was gonna be cute. So if you guys think that's funny, let me know. But that's what I'm doing for his birthday. And I thought it was super funny. So you guys know I'm not like a normal person. Like the stuff that comes in my head, I don't even know. I just have too much fun, you know? It's life, you you need to have fun in life. That's all it is. Okay, last things, I promise, okay, guys? We didn't even talk about coffee today. Is anybody had, oh, we did talk about coffee. We talked about my coffee intake. Are you guys drinking your coffee right now? I don't need any more coffee. Like, I should be cut off from coffee for like a week. Like, I had only two cups, but I am so hyper today. I can't help it. Oh my God, all I saw, Crystal, all I saw was boring. And I was like, are you calling me boring? And then I had to look up and normal is boring. Yeah, I, I'm definitely, I'm not normal. I have a t-shirt, it says awkward AF, you know, AF. It's a swear and I'm not gonna say it on YouTube. Okay guys, now stay with me, okay? And I also need advice, so don't leave yet. Wanna see me? Okay, thank you. So, yeah. Oh my God, Crystal, you, I'm thinking the opposite. I'm thinking the opposite. When you said, went straight from coffee to Coke, I was like, Crystal, do you need to have a conversation with me? Like, I'm an addiction specialist. Like, we can talk about this. Like, I got a little nervous there. And if you anybody ever needs to talk to me about any of that, I'm here. I don't share anybody's issues. I share mine very vocally, but I don't share other people's. If you ever need any help, I am, I'm not like an addiction um, scholar. Like I'm not like a doctor or anything, but I've gone to training and obviously I did my own addiction and recovery and all that fun stuff. So I'm here. Anyways, I hope you meant Coke, Coca-Cola, like soda Coke, which even I'm, I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to go on a soapbox. I'm just going to say the soda has a lot of sugar in it. And sugar is not the best when you have issues like neuropathy and stuff like that because the sugar, so anything that excites you, um, excites your nerves and excites your disabilities or your neuropathy. So I know because of my neuropathy, if I have like four cupcakes, don't judge, okay? If I have like four cupcakes, I'm feeling like crap the next day and my neuropathy is like on fire and instead of it being to like my calf, it's up to my knees. And I'm like, I don't have any legs. Like I can't feel my legs, that's it. Because I had four cupcakes, you know? So um, sugar definitely makes your neuropathy worse. Just saying. Um, sugar, caffeine actually does too, but I'm not gonna stop drinking caffeine because my neuropathy, like pfft, I gotta live my life. So um, caffeine, sugar, nicotine, if anyone's a smoker and you have neuropathy, that doesn't help. So, and not just neuropathy, but like chronic conditions in general. Like if you have a chronic condition, anything that excites you excites your chronic condition, if that makes sense. Okay, done, I'm off my soapbox. Did you guys know that I, I'm like a medical person and I enjoy it? I know, I miss my medical life, ah, it's okay. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. I got this tray, okay? So we're having a party and I like to, I like my parties to be interesting, like the food, but I also like it to be pretty. So stay with me, okay guys? Now I have this, okay? So I got this, this is all from the Dollar Tree. This is super heavy, like super thick and it's in the, um, like the candle and floral department. Um, I'm assuming you put candles on it. I don't know, but my idea now I'm lost in my idea. I think I had two different ideas and that's where I'm kind of lost. Okay. And then I got this guy. Okay. So he's also in the candle department. How cute is this? I don't know if I've seen one of these, but I thought it was cute. And uh, I like the black with it. I don't do a lot of black. I used to. I used to really be into black, but I'm not, um, I'm not really into black right now. I think I'm just kind of like exploring colors. So I'm trying to stay away from black and white. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm always changing. I don't know. So you're funny, Crystal. You can drink whatever you want. I'm not judging. I'm just giving you the medical advice, <laughs> but 
believe me, like I just told you, I eat four cupcakes and I don't need those four cupcakes. So I'm definitely not judging. Do whatever you want. Have fun. Live life. Okay, guys. So this is my idea. This is where I need advice. This is where I need help. Okay. <sighs> when I did my summer box top, I was, chemo gave me um, like these four glass little dishes, you know, and I was trying to hot glue them. No, first I was trying to E6000 them and it didn't work. Like, I don't know. Maybe I didn't let it sit long enough. I don't know. But when I went to go pick it up, like a day later, it just broke apart. And I was like, oh my God, I got a video to do. Like, I don't have time for this. Oh my God. Like I was like almost freaking out. So then I got like my hot glue and I was trying to hot glue these glass bowls together. And if you guys saw it, it's like a planter that I made, but it looked kind of like a bowl. Anyways, I don't know what do you use to put glass on top of glass? So this is my idea. Okay. And I guess I'm, I probably could use this. I don't know. Um, but my idea is to do like a, a tiered thing. Okay. So I was going to do, um, I think I was going to do something with that bowl too. I was trying to think of making, um, you know, like where the food is dimensions, you know, to have like a thing like this or, you know, like this and then put like, you know, you can see what I'm talking about like that and put like sandwiches on it, you know, so it has to be like sturdy so I can put the food on it, but I wanted to make different heights so I can have, um, like some for desserts and some for, you know, sandwiches and stuff like that. So you think that's what it is. E6000 and hot glue. That's it. That's all I need. Why didn't it work last time? Do I need to like rough it up or something? Do I need to put, cause then I was thinking like, what if I put like a layer of Mod Podge on it to kind of give it that like matte kind of feel and then do it. Um, and I think I did do that actually. Yeah. So if, is that what you guys think? You guys think E6 don't mix the glue? Yeah, I know. I know that. So like I do like a drop here, drop there, drop there. And then I do like my hot glue. Um, but like I said, when I was doing those bowls, they were like moving all over the place. And you guys, ugh, you don't even know. I took like tape and I was like taping stuff. It was just, it was wild. We have a new human in the house. Now William's here. William, you want to come say hi? We were just talking about you. Word. Yeah, we were saying how we were so happy you're turning 18, and we can't wait for you to move out and get on with your life. <laughs> no, we weren't. We were crying. We were crying about kids. Look, this is my baby. Okay. <laughs> That's my baby, guys. How sweet is he? Oh, everyone's saying hi. Uh, but I'm, I told I told Mike today, but um, because he just said moving out. Um, why you why you make that face? <laughs> you're not moving out. Why you make that face? <laughs> you guys, you're hearing this live. Oh my God, what? Because um, Grammy and Papa proposed something to us. So you know how the lady's moving out? No, I didn't know. Well, that. the lady that lives there under on, on, in the apartment. At her house, uh -huh. she's moving out in July, and they said that Grammy and Papa proposed to me and Amy for because she want they want. We'll talk about this later. No, we're that's more. a it's bad gonna, it's idea. Take quick. It's not a bad idea at all. Actually, it's, Mike actually said it's a good idea. What I told him, ready? Papa and Grammy are gonna, are gonna open up a bank account, right? For yeah. me and Amy, uh -huh. it's gonna have either my my mine or Amy's name on it and one of their names on it, uh -huh. and each month, what while we're living in the apartment. Each month, me and Amy are gonna give Papa and money and Papa and Ma, uh, Grammy money each month, and they're gonna, every every single thing that we give them, they're gonna put into a bank account for us. Yeah. So when we like when we move out, we'll have like like thirty grand to move out. One, that's a great idea. Two, it's not a great idea. Why? Because you're living with the grandparents. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> she, my grandma told. Hey guys, this is live. You don't she, even know. She, she told us. She said, if you guys are living, gonna be moving out into the into that apartment, we're gonna treat you guys like it's someone out, like it's one of the travel nurses. So they're not gonna be bringing landing down. They're not gonna have be opening the door, coming down all the time because it's gonna be our apartment. We'll talk about this later, William. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna do it. 
So, okay. And it's going to be pretty soon, too. So. Okay. And it's kind of perfect for me because I'm, I'm only going to have like a 10 minute drive to work now. Oh, yeah, that's a good and idea. And I get to live next to my boss. So. Well, my, you my guys, boss, we're having a party now. This is a party, guys. Because my. I don't, Mike, did I tell you that? That my boss lives 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, not, not even two minutes. <laughs> Thank away from you, Detrio. Okay. So you I, guys know I'm live right now, right? So okay. I'm, I'm Just gonna, so, you guys, a, this is like real life. I'm this gonna, is I'm what nobody cares. Like, They're like, oh, it's okay. We're just going to have this whole conversation. <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> oh, my goodness. See, Missy, no, that's the thing. That's the thing. Because I could say, like, as soon as I shut this off, I'm going to be like, Listen to me now, mister. What you just did? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's entertainment. Yeah. My husband says entertainment. We're having a lot of fun. We're, uh, we're, we're doing Dollar Tree stuff. You guys are missing all the fun. So so what do you guys think about that? You think William should move out? You think at 18 years old, he should just go move out and go live with my parents? Oh, my God. You guys don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that. It's such a longer story than that. It's let's just say that I moved out at a very young age for a reason. <laughs> Thank you. See, I know you guys are my friends. That's why you're all here. I say it too. Nope. Which is kind of funny. I'm going to tell you guys. So my children, they text me random things like, oh, can like I got a text from my you know, my 14 year old, he's in school and I get a text that says, can I partake in Dell's lemonade? Like, I was like, what? And I'm like, like, what the heck is going on here? So like the texts I get, sometimes I just don't pay attention because they just randomly send me texts that mean nothing or whatever. So William, the one you just met, he sent me a text the other day and wanted to know if he could get a kitten for his birthday, not just for his birthday, for his bedroom. He wanted his own kitten, a, a live furry animal that has a heartbeat for his bedroom. Like we don't have like this mansion of a house where everybody has their own wing. He has a bedroom with a closet and two windows. Like we don't have like wings of things. So I was like, no, no, you cannot. Like what, what is wrong with you? <laughs> like that's a live animal. What are you talking about? Like I was so confused. Like was he joking? Was I don't even know because he does have a fridge in his room and he has um, some snacks in there, which I say I don't like food in the bedroom. I have a big thing about that, but I'm not going to start a fight. You got to pick your battles with teenagers. So he's got these snacks and he's acting like it's like a, a college dorm up there. Like and if, if there's a microwave soon, like I don't even know what to tell you guys. Bye, Connie. All right, what am I missing, guys? Let me see what I'm missing. You guys, I got I got bamboozled. You guys saw that. I got bamboozled. My goodness. I can't believe that. You guys almost saw me start crying on live on live YouTube. <laughs> Two times. I almost started crying twice today, guys. Wow. If you guys didn't know, I feel like I always have to give um like a disclaimer, and I haven't done it in quite a while because I used to do lives on Facebook and this was early on after I got sick, but I have a pinched nerve in, I don't know if it's in my neck or in my brain. I'm, I should know this and I don't. It's called um, pseudobulbar palsy and it's a pinched nerve and I got it after I got sick and I got all the different stuff. And when I first got sick, it was very, very noticeable. And so if I started, um, I could get like really excited and I'd be happy, but I'd start crying, okay? And I couldn't stop. It was like uncontrollable crying, but I was happy. Like it made no sense. And then I could be hearing um, a really sad story, like somebody died or somebody got really sick. And it could be like an extremely emotional, sad story. And I'd start laughing. And it, it's no lie. It's a real condition and it's super embarrassing. And it was very, very noticeable. And I had it. So I'd be doing a live and I'd be like getting emotional talking about something and I just start crying. And once I start crying, well, now it's way different. But before you, I couldn't even breathe. I'd be like, <laughs> like catch. I couldn't even catch my breath. Like when I was in the hospital because I was paralyzed. 
and I'd be trying to explain myself and I'd start crying and I'd be like choking on my spit. And it was, people are like, breathe. Oh my God. Like they would like stop and just breathe. But like, they didn't know I couldn't, like I physically couldn't stop. And so thankfully, as I have gotten healthier, my um, you know, all my conditions have gotten better and less severe, but I was a little nervous there when he started talking. I was like, I might start crying guys and I might not be able to stop. <laughs> so. Oh my God, Crystal, 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 just stop. Just stop it, Crystal. <laughs> all right, guys, I, I believe you. I believe you. Dentria, I do lives. I try to do lives every Saturday morning. It doesn't always work because like if I have like a video coming out or something, but I do try to do lives at least once a week because I want to catch up with you guys. I want to see what you guys are doing and stuff. All right. Missy's my best friend. I'm going to be sending Missy a message after this. I'm going to be like, ah, I'm going to be stuck crying. She's going to cry. I mean, yesterday we were talking about how we were numb from Pepper. You guys don't even know the conversations that we have. You don't need to. You don't need to. It's best friend status. Yeah, so it's definitely um, pseudobulb palsy is definitely a real condition. And people, I think it's like, I don't know. People have, everybody has their own life. Everybody has their own opinions on things. People get so wrapped up in their own lives. Sometimes they don't pay attention to what other people are going through. And there's, you know, there is... I'm not going to say like discrimination and hate and stuff like that, but there are invisible disabilities and some people just don't understand. They, you know, like I have a handicap placard and I'm young and I park in handicap when I need to, like it's, it's, I have issues, you know? And so I see older people looking at me and they have a look on their face, like, like thinking that I'm like doing something bad or something, but like, you don't realize what other people are going through and what they have, you know? So it's like, I don't know, I guess just have compassion for other people, even if you don't know what's going on in their life, you know, because you just, you know, you never know. So yeah, it's just, it's such a wacky thing. I'm just, I'm so thankful. I don't really have that much of it anymore. I do still have it. Like I mean, before I got sick, I laughed when people fell. It's like, um, it's a thing. I don't know. I'm awful, but I did. I used to laugh when people fell. Um, like if someone falls down the stairs, it's like a nervous reaction that I start laughing and it would be like, but then I'd go help them and I'd be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so sorry for laughing. And like, I'd help them and I wouldn't be laughing anymore. But now when I do it, like my husband, you guys, if you saw my last video, he cut his finger. He was trying to help me like pull some things apart. And it was like a metal piece and he sliced his finger and it happened real fast. And he was like, <gasps> and the face he made, cause he didn't know how deep it went. I just started laughing instead of being like, Oh my God, are you okay? I just like busted out laughing. And like, he was like looking for like band-aids and napkins to like stop the bleeding. And I'm just like cracking up and like, it's bad guys. Like, it's not funny. Like, I mean, it's funny that now, but like, and he's okay. He didn't like, you know, his finger's fine. He's okay. But like, that's how I am, you know? So like, if you tell me a story about like an old lady falling and I laugh, like, it's not because I hate old ladies. Like, I love old ladies. I just, I laugh when people fall. I have a problem, you guys. It's serious. See, Detria, that that's wrong too though like that's wrong like people when it's like a actual you, you can physically see the handicap like that that makes me so mad because like it's already out in the open like it's out in the open there's no reason to laugh there's no reason to stare there's it, that that really bothers me you know that's I don't know. I just have such a thing. And I think it's because like, I, I, well, I had a cousin who has down syndrome and I, like I said, I used to work with the mentally handicapped. So I, you know, I've always been that kind of person. Like I just, I care for everybody, but I really care for people who have disabilities. And like, it was even before I got sick, you know, it's just, that's how I am. Those are the kind of people I want to help. Like, and it's William, the one you just met, he's like that too. Where like when he was in school, like he's always the kid who, if somebody is like has autism or somebody has you know learning disabilities he's the first one to go over and help them and ask like do you want to sit with me at lunch like he's that that kind of kid you know and he's like a jock you know like it's you wouldn't expect it but 
you know so i don't know disabilities are just wild it's um you know crystal i don't know um i think people just automatically just you know it's it's a thing that people have they just assume or they just like maybe maybe they're questioning what's my disability but you know i don't know and like i've had some people say things and I, i'll be fresh like i had a cop say it one time i parked in the handicap and she stopped me and she was like uh excuse me that's a handicap and i was like excuse me and first of all you guys know i love cops because my brother's a cop so i am like all the respect and i love cops but when she stopped me i was like excuse me and she was like do you have a handicap sticker and i was like yup like i was fresh i was mad like don't you ever like do not you can get out of your car and you can go walk around and you can go see if i have a handicap sticker so uh-uh and she if she even asked why i was handicapped i would whoo whoo you can't be asking those kind of questions that's like against the law whoo there's laws about that i mean and i'm the first one to be vocal about it but i'm also the first one to know my rights and know the rights of others like you don't do that that's just wrong mm -mm. nope 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 oh denise oh my goodness yes my brother oh my goodness he's so sweet so he um he actually when he was like a kid he wanted to be a forensic um like analysis kind of guy for the fbi and then he changed his major in college and i don't know he did all kinds of stuff and then he went and became a boston city police officer and then he went through the academy and then he went to state trooper academy and now he's in massachusetts state trooper so yay i love cops yeah it's weird i don't know i don't know if people and that's what i said you know like i think people just have so much going on in their own lives that they don't always think you know like they don't think about other people sometimes because they're rushing around trying to figure out what they need to get done for the day and like they see somebody and like, believe me, I do not have a poker face. Like I am the first one where like my husband will be like, do you know how you just looked at that person? Like I am the first one to have a look and I can't help it. It's just, I have that look like I have the RBF, you know, like I can't help it. It's there. And I don't know if I can ever get rid of that. And so I know that people, other people do it, you know, like, it's just, it's one of those things you don't, I don't know. And so you can't like be mad at them, but at the same time, I will be the first person to tell you, like shut your mouth. Mm -mm. I will be that person. So I don't care. I'm trying to figure out which the best way to read the comments guys. I'm bad. Well, and that's the thing, fellas. It's like, and, and again, like with the invisible disabilities, with any disability, nobody is the same. So somebody who has fibromyalgia, another person who has fibromyalgia may have it way worse or way less. And so like, you might be complaining of today, like I'm so tired and like the heat's really getting to me and I just can't deal with today. But your friend who has the same condition is like, hey, let's go to the beach. You know, like it's, everybody gets affected differently. And like, we just have to remember that, you know, it's just not fair. Like I used to, so if you guys know, I'm like holistic and stuff. So I don't take any of the medication I'm supposed to take. And I do CBD oil and vitamins and all that kind of stuff. So when I first started doing CBD oil, I was selling it, you know, like a MLM kind of network marketing thing. And so I, um, I would talk to a lot of people and like, I had to be careful how I worded things because, you know, people who take CBD, some people take it like I do, like it's an actual medicine. Like if I don't take my CBD, like I'm, I'm having a real rough time and I am not getting out of bed. Like it is real bad, but other people, they just take it because, you know, they just want to have an overall feeling of wellness. You know what I mean? So like everybody has different levels of stuff. So like depression, you might be in your room crying in bed and not able to get up out of bed and other people could just be, you know, have a little sadness here and there. So like, there's always that varying, degree of whatever you're going through that other people have differently you know so that's why i always say like just have compassion for everybody because you don't know what they're going through and like i'm human believe me i know i am not perfect i i'm not saying i'm not a judgy person like i can be judgy and i can think bad things about other people you know but then when I like sit back and think about it, you know, like when you reflect, like you just have to remember that everybody has their own life. Everybody has their own issues. Not everything is out in the open. 
you don't see what other people are going through. So it's like, you just have to be nice to everybody, you know? Carmen, that's actually a really good thing. So uh, not a good thing. I mean, a good comment. Like, so there are doctors who, because I've worked with so many doctors and there are like holistic doctors and doctors of osteopathy and then just right, you know, general practitioners. And there is a different thought about um, like fibromyalgia and stuff where it's more of because there's no way of quantifying it because there's no way of physically taking a blood test or taking an x-ray and saying, yes, you have fibromyalgia, they believe it doesn't exist. And when I first started working in the medical field, there were quite a few years where I didn't believe it either. And I used to do nerve testing. So I would test people's nerves for uh, muscle disorders, nerve disorders, and all different kinds of things. Pretty much everything, neurology-based, sleep-based, anything that has to do with the nerves. And I would have patients come in and they'd say, oh, I have neuropathy. And then I'd do the test on them and they didn't have neuropathy. So, but they had the symptoms. And in my mind, because I was young and I was still learning, you know, I went to school for it, but some things you have to learn on the job, you know? And so I would think to myself, oh, they're just making it up. Like, they just want to be sick. Like, they just want this. They just want to have these issues. Like, and it's an awful thing to think now. Like, it's so awful, but that's just how it was. That's what I thought. I was young and not, not very smart at that time. I don't know. But, and I remember, like, there were doctors who didn't believe in it. And they just thought it's, it's like something, you know, it's something going on in their head. And it's, it's not fair to think like that. And it's, it's definitely a real thing. It's just so hard because it's not something you can quantify. I, I don't know. Um, I think they have actually done some testing and there is a lab test they can do now. Um, and it's not like a positive negative. Yes. For fibromyalgia, it just is like markers. Like if you have this marker and if you have that marker, you may have fibromyalgia and it's like an inflammation kind of thing. Um, which is like what fibromyalgia is. So Oh, I don't know, Crystal. Cramps are a real thing. Oh my God, Jesus. I got all kinds of cramps. Oh my God. Oh, I don't know why I keep reading these ones, guys. I'm like giving you guys like zooming in on my face. And that's the thing with neuropathy too. There are so many different neuropathies. So you could have like a sensory neuropathy, a motor neuropathy, a peripheral neuropathy. You can have uh, chemo-induced neuropathy. Um, I have two different kinds of neuropathy. So I have neuropathy from my alcoholism when I was a drinker. And that's, um, it's a little, the one that you get from alcoholism is very close to the one from diabetes. It's a little different, but it's like a length dependency. So it's like your nerves are dying off and that they are not healthy anymore. So they like kind of die off. And those ones, they don't really regenerate. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But then I also have neuropathy from having the lesion on my brain stem. So when people have spinal cord injuries, whether it be like a lesion in your brain stem or like a lesion somewhere, you know, like an actual physical sickness, or you actually had like you fell and hurt yourself, you know, like you're paralyzed. Like there's so many different neuropathies and it's just wild. Like what the human body can, you know, go through. It's just wild. Well, Carmen, you can join the club. We're, all of us here. Oh my God. It's just, you know, there's so many things and it's, it, it is, it's hard when you start like labeling, like if I label all the stuff I have, I'll be here for like 30 minutes. Like, guess what? I got this, 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 this. It just goes on and on. And once you get like one thing, it's like, it's almost like a snowball effect. It's like, it just keeps going. Like I'll say something, my husband, he's like, what do you have now? Like, what did the doctor say? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm a mess, you know, like, like I went to the doctors and like two years ago and they were like, oh, like I had this high copper level. So this is, this is how my life goes. I had a high copper level on my, t my blood test and a high copper level could be anything. Could be that you ate too much, like, I don't know, like lobster and shellfish and stuff. Or it could be that you have soil deposits, like water deposits in your soil and that the vegetables you were eating had extra stuff. Or it could be that you actually have a condition that's causing the copper to store up in your liver. 
And because I had the alcoholism, like my liver at that time was real bad, but then it became like perfect. Like after, obviously I don't drink anymore and I'm like super, you know, all the healthy stuff I do. So my liver was really good and they were wondering why was my copper so high? So there's like a test, um, it's called Wilson's disease and they look in your eyes to see if you have a certain kind of thing. So I had to go do this test. And so I was there for this one test because of the copper disease, uh, the copper level. And then the doctors say, oh, you have early signs of glaucoma. And I was like, what? I was like, I'm 35 years old. Like, well, maybe I was 36 then. I don't know. And I was like, how do I have glaucoma? Like, that makes no sense to me. Like, I don't have glaucoma. And then like, you know, my doctor would say, no, you don't have, like, so it's, it's just wild. It's snowballs and you just have to do the best you can and try to live a nice, healthy life. <laughs> We only have one body. Oh, Bridget, that's, oh my goodness. I can't imagine that. I, that, oh, oh my God. I am sorry. Lots of prayers, lots of healing vibes for you. It's, um, it's, it's tough. It really is. And, I'm not saying I'm on the side of your doctor, Bridget. I'm just saying that doctors have a certain way of, you know, it, we are definitely in an age of pain meds and people becoming addicted. And it's, it's very, very dangerous. And, um, and I think doctors are really starting to pay attention now. And again, there's, you know, there's accountability where they don't want to be the person who's in, you know, the cause of your addiction and, you know, and there's now there's all kinds of new laws that like you can only like I know because I've had shoulder surgeries that they you can only get a certain amount of pain pills in a certain amount of time. And if you prescribe too many, you could actually lose your license, you know, so it's like it's serious stuff, you know, so like even though you may need it some doctors they're more worried about like their license and stuff like that and then you know a holistic doctor of course he's not going to want you on that kind of medicine you know so it's all in who you see and stuff so that's why it's you know if you have an issue like if you have a condition or a disorder it's really important to um you know look for doctors who are good at what they do you know because if you're just seeing a general practitioner who doesn't know like my doctor she tried, and I'm not, I love her. I love her. She's still my doctor and I'm not saying any bad words about her, but she wants me on medication. She wants me to take medication for all my ailments. And she says, you know, that why things happen to me. She says it wouldn't happen if you were on a pill. Nope. I don't know about that. <laughs> so, you know, there were certain doctors who want people to manage their symptoms with pills. And that's, that's how that doctor works, you know? So, I, because I have all these other conditions, I see a certain doctor for each condition that I have and all of them know that I don't take med medication and I don't want to. So if I'm having a flare up and I'm having issues, like I want to talk to you about it just to make sure it's not something else, but I'm not going to take a pill for it. Like it's just not going to happen. And I've been holistic now for three years and I am way better. Like I can, before I was like, I was a mess. Like, it's such a long story. It was such a mess. And, you know, my husband was like, we need to do something like there. Something has to be done. You cannot live your life like this. And that's when, you know, I went holistic. And for me, it's not for everybody. You know, I, I do, um, you know, I always support whatever your decision is for medication and, you know, whatever is right for your issues and your conditions and your body. But for me, has to be holistic. Like I just have so many side effects and I feel everything like to the up team, you know, effect of everything. So I am med free, but yeah, there's definitely, um, yeah. So Bridget, I don't know, like maybe you need to find a new doctor. You need to find one who, you know, will help you out, you know, not, not give you everything, you know, but help you actually with, you know, what's going on. And it's, um, it's tough. It's tough trying to find that, that happy medium, you know, it, it is, it's really hard and every person's different. So like, you know, just cause like one person might need this level of, you know, however many milligrams that person might need more. And it's just, it's, you know, it's hard. I know. All right, guys, let's talk shop. It was all about crafts and now we're in medical world. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love DOs. That's, yes, doctor of osteopathy. So the doctor I worked under for pretty much a third of my life, he was a doctor of osteopathy. And he 
was amazing. He was so smart. And I'm not saying other doctors aren't smart, but doctor of osteopathy, they have, um, they go to medical training, like every doctor. And then when it's time to pick your specialty, you get like extra years. So you go and you do your fellowship and your internship and you pick, like if you want to be OBGYN or orthopedics and you let them know, oh boy, guys, my battery's going. Ah. Mike, do you have a charger? What? Can I have a charger? Uh, no, I need this charger. I'm still live, Liam. The boxers are over there in the clean laundry. Um, my husband's getting a charger, guys. Sorry. Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah, doctor of osteopathy is when um, they have that extra training and then they decide to go these, into these, like a homeopathic natural route these yeah these are the ones i need i go you know the little calvin Klein ones you got me mm -hmm. that they go fit here on me i know that they, they don't fit okay william i'm live I know, <laughs> tell, just, tell me about his underwear you guys oh my god that probably would have been nasty on stream <laughs> again i don't know guys <laughs> why do you sleep like this you Okay, let's get back to the glue. Yes, that I need to know. Is there a okay? So I have a glue that I just got. Oh my goodness. Oh, maybe not. Okay, it says it's wood glue, so never mind. I thought it was. Thank you, Mike. My husband just brought me a charger. You guys, we can continue. <laughs> I don't know. I thought my phone was charged. We've been here for a while, guys. Sorry. I talk a lot. I told you that. Okay, so I got this wood glue here. I got this from the Dollar General, but I thought this was a different one. So I have something, it's like seashell glue. And when I used it one time, I used it on accident and I never got the thing apart. So I don't know if that is good for glass. Um, there has to be some kind of better glue. You know what I mean? Oh my God, stuff's rolling. And it's wicked old and I'm sure that's why it's like discolored. But see this? This, I, you could probably glue your fingers together. Like, I don't know what this is. Um, it says shells, wood, metal, ceramic, and more. But it doesn't say glass. So, well, that's it, Crystal. I did, but do I need to let it sit for like two days? I don't even know. See, Crystal, and that's the thing. Um, for me, that's what works. Because I'm holistic and not every doctor agrees with it, that's what works for me. So I see a doctor. I have a, um, I have a rheumatologist. And because they're, you don't even want to know about that. That's a whole other thing that they're searching up now. So I got some rheumatology issues. And I don't know again. So I have a neurologist. I have a neurosurgeon, which my lesion is never going to be operated on. It's stuck there forever. It's on my spinal cord. It's on my brain lesion. It ain't going anywhere. So no one's going to touch it, but I still have a neurosurgeon. So neurosurgeon, neurologist, rheumatologist, um, an ophthalmologist, not an optetrician, an ophthalmologist. And I see each different one. Um, and I think they are the best of the best. And that's why I pick them. And that's why I go to them. And because I have medical knowledge, um, for me, it's helpful because I can say to them, like, I can tell them, like, this is what's happening. I think it's this. And so that way they can help me pinpoint the things. But for some people, like you're saying, it's, it's too much. You know, you just want somebody who can just kind of be like a general overview and say like, okay, you have diabetes, let's get your sugar under control. You have this, let's get this under control. And that's why every person is so different. And like medical world is just so hard. You know, it really is because, and then we could go into the other part of it. Like I love the medical world because I worked in it for years and years and years. But now that I'm holistic, I see a lot of things that I don't agree with, you know, so we could really go into a deep dive on that. And it, it's, it is sad because some people go, go rogue, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Definitely. Oh my goodness. I don't know, guys. Crystal though. I don't think, um, I don't think wood glue is going to work on glass though. Like, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know, guys. I don't, I really want it to work, 
but I, that's the thing. It's not for decoration. It's for, it's going to be holding like food and stuff, you know? So I don't want it to, it has to be like super, super sturdy. Huh. I don't know why I keep doing this. You guys have to remind me, Devin, stop staring at us like that. I got words over here I can be doing. <laughs> So this is another thing that happened with the E6000 and the hot glue. So you guys know I'm a fumbler. I fumble and I'm not the fastest person. And so I would put the E6000 down first and then I would do the hot glue. And by the time I was done with the hot glue and I go to put it down and then get the thing and put it to the hot, the, whatever I'm laying on top of the hot glue would already start to harden. So it's like, it leaves like, um, like a lip, you know, cause it's hardened and it's not, you know, I didn't have time to push it down to get that good appearance. So I think that was my issue too. So, oh, jewelry glue. That's great. So is this, is this jewelry glue? Like, would this be the same kind of thing? Because it's, I don't know. I just know that whatever I use this for, but like I said, this is old now. So I need a new one. So because it's old, you know, like you can see the color. I don't think it was this color when I first got it. I think it was clear. Um, but it's like watery now. So I think when I first got it, it was like a, it was jelly and like thick. And now it's like, cause it's old. I don't know why it thinned out. Maybe I stuck something in it one time. I don't know. I'm kind of weird like that. I'm like, oh, let's just pour a little bit of this. Let's just water it down. And then I forget I did it. So oh, I don't know guys. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to glue it tonight. Cause my whole idea was I wanted to glue it, spray paint it. And then use um, like a food safe sealer on it. So I wasn't going to spray paint the actual part that the food was on, just the base of it. But because the base of it was going to be near food, I wanted to put a food safe like shellac sealer on it just in case a roll falls and somebody picks it up, you know, like there's no paint contamination and stuff, you know. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I think I'm going to, you know, that's true. You're smart. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think, I think I'm going to do this. And I think I'm going to do everything. I'm going to do a, a little drop of E6000, a little drop of wood glue, and a little drop of this thing. And I'm just going to, you know, and I'm just going to lay something heavy on it. And I'm just going to hope for the best. And let's just pray it works. So I think we've been here for a while, guys. I got to get crafting. Oh, my God. Okay. Before I leave. Okay. No, we didn't even get to any of the fun stuff. <laughs> okay. So let's see this week. Uh, this week I do. Okay. So I do have a class. So I have my collaboration. It's closed. It's n it's just me and um, Crafty, Ca Crafty Kathy's Creations. Kathy. If you guys know Kathy. So me and her are doing a closed collab and that's on Tuesday. Just if you guys wanted to watch, it's not for anybody to join us. We're just going to do some shabby chic and I'm excited. And then on Thursday, I think it's Thursday is, um, creations by Fabi. She has her twine it up and I haven't done a twine it up ever. Can you believe that? Like I've been friends with Fanny for months upon months and I've never done her twine it up. Like, I'm not an awful friend, but maybe I am. I, I really enjoy, you know, I like to try a little bit of everything. And it's like my schedule just hasn't worked. And so I'm doing it. It's a recurring uh, monthly challenge. And it's an open one. So if you guys are a crafter and you want to twine it up, let's do it. Like, I'm so excited. So that's on, I think, Thursday. I don't, I can't check because it's on my phone. Um, and then... And then I don't think I really have any open collaborations. So if you guys have open collaborations, definitely put it in the comments so people can look it up. You can also go to Domestic Diva. She posts all the open collaborations on her community tab on Mondays. So if you have a collaboration, an open playlist that you want to uh, talk about, um, send it to Domestic Diva, Sonia. Let her know and give her all the details in the email. I don't know her email, but it's on her page. And then she'll put it in her little, she's got a little, you know, post that she does. And so it's great. Um, and I go through that. And every time that I see something, oh, sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness. Am I still here with you guys? 
I'm sorry. I don't know. I shut my notifications off and I'm just getting like texts and texts. Not like it's anything important. It's just random people. So, okay, we're back. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm really excited about the twine challenge. And then we have the crafty couples challenge that's on the 25th. And that's hosted by me and what's Jamie making. So if you're a couple and or your friend or whoever, it just has to be another person. That's it. Doesn't have to be your husband or your spouse or your whoever, whoever. It could be your best friend, your brother, your sister. Doesn't matter. It could be your neighbor. We don't care. So if you want to do that, that's on the 25th. And that's one thrifted item. I think it could be more, but I'm sticking to one. So, and then the day after that is here's your crown. And that is, um, Connie's Nails and Creations and mine and Sandy from Lumber Mill DIY is co-hosting. So that's going to be very exciting. And that's three to five DIYs. Only one has to be from your inspiration. I don't know how much I'm going to do because last time I did four and I did two ladies and two ladies. This time I already have one lady of mine. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do all hers or if I'm going to do what I did last time. So we'll see. But tonight, you guys, come on, tonight. Please come watch me on Family Feud because I, you guys, all right, I've been sitting here with you guys just like blah, 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 talking about kids and like underwear and like who knows what we've been talking about today. But I feel comfortable with you guys because I know you like you're my friends now, you know, so I, I still have a little bit of nervousness, but I'm not like nervous. But when I do these like other lives, like on other people's channels, I get nervous. Like I'm like, oh. Like, I got to meditate. I got to, like, clear myself, like, do some auric cleanses. Like, I get real nervous. So if you guys are not busy tonight, come see me on the Family Feud and let's play. That's okay, Crystal. Just rewatch it. But if you aren't busy, come watch me and say, hey, Devin. Yay. We're a team Brooklyn mom. You know, like, so that way I don't feel like, you know, because some of these channels are, like, big channels. So I did it last couple weeks ago i don't know how long ago i did it um yes i'm on with Lini tonight tonight so they were bigger channels and like i don't know i feel like the little kid like oh i just got this little channel you know like and like nobody knows me so i like feel like i don't know just a little self-conscious i guess i don't know just a little nervous and so um i don't know i just i don't know it's hard to explain i don't know you know it's like when you go to like lunch you know at the new school and you don't know anybody and you're like the new kid and they're like oh do we like her we don't know if we like her yet mm, she kind of looks weird i don't know if we like her let's not invite her over you know like i feel kind of like that sometimes so anyways i'll see you guys yes family feud is it crafty leany leany's crafts it's her craft channel the one that she does her like scavenger hunt and her um like all her games, like the, the channel she does all her games on. Because I know she has a couple channels. It's the one she does all her games on. That's the one we did Family Feud a couple weeks ago. And I got asked to do it again. Which is really funny because none of my answers were right. Like every answer that I said, I was like, yeah. And I would like say an answer. And they're like, no. Nope. And I was like, like, who runs this game? Like, oh my God. So thank you, Detria. Oh, you guys, I you guys don't know. Like... I'm just like a, I don't know, like I say I'm not nervous, but then like I am, I don't know. I'm just such a gub. I'm wacky. I can't help it. I'm a crazy person. I can't help it. Oh, a barbecue. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love food. Oh my God. I am such a foodie. I love food. I could eat all day long and I don't because I'm intermittent fasting. So I only eat during a certain period of time of the day and but I could eat all day. I've been known, I've been called the bottomless pit before. I can just shovel it down. I just love food. I love it. So yes, it's um, Bridget. It's a game. Well, she, it was the first time she ever did it. So it's Family Feud, like the TV show, but it's with crafters. And her husband is, um, you know, like Steve Harvey. And he asked the question. And then we all were on teams. I don't know who my team is tonight. I'm going to have to check my messages. I haven't even checked any of my messages. Oh my God, this is awful. I could be like so far behind right now guys i don't even know i don't even know because last time so yeah so she asked questions you're on a team and then yes that you're out. i'm overthinking i'm gonna tell you guys something about overthinking and i'm doing it right now but i tell this to my husband all the time overthinking is like 
you're just setting yourself up to fail, you know, because you're, so say I'm tonight, I'm thinking about tonight. And so I'm already stressing about it right now, but then as it's happening, you're stressing about it. So it's like, you're stressing about it two times. Like you don't need to, you don't need to. So I need to take my own advice. And I tell that to my husband all the time, like, you don't need to stress. Like everything's going to be fine. Like divine intervention, it's going to happen. There is a purpose for everybody where, you know, there fate it's, it's going to happen no matter what, you know, it's still, it's going to happen. So you don't need to worry about it. Take a deep breath and just go. <laughs> You know, like because I'm not like super religious. Obviously, I'm religious, but I'm not like super religious. So I'm not like let it go to God. Like I don't even know what the saying is. But so you know, people say let go. Oh, I don't even know the saying, guys. That's how non-religious I am. I'm sorry, but I am religious. So yeah, so it's definitely fun. It's it's a lot of fun. And um, so last time we dressed up and we did an '80s theme. So I don't know. Let me see if she wrote to me. Oh, let's see. She didn't tell me if there's a theme. So if there's a theme, I'm going to be Russian because I don't know. So. Oh, thank you, Phyllis. You're so sweet. You guys are so sweet. That's why you're here and you're my friends because you guys are so uplifting. And that's another life advice. Always surround yourself with people like yourself who are uplifting and that bring out the best in you. If you are hanging out with people who you always get in trouble with or always bring negativity or always make you feel bad about yourself, those aren't your friends. They're not your circle. Surround yourself with people who love you, people who are like you, people who bring out the best in you. So thank you to all of you because you guys bring out the best in me. Oh, okay. Let go and let God. Thank you very much. I, I, I had it. I had it. I just was, I was just messed up. So that's how I am, but I am more of the universe. So everybody has their own religious thing. And to me, God is creator and it's just, just different. It's the same thing. I think it's just how I see it a little differently, but I think we all, you know, like prayer is prayer. And, um, we don't need to, you know, we don't need to worry about things because it's all on its path and everything's going to happen. And there are little things that could make you fall off that path, but there's still that path and you just have to get back onto it. So my path today is to get a little bit of crafts done and get ready for my live. And I'll have to make dinner at some point. So I'm going to figure it out. I'll get it all done and, and we'll see. So I, I got to put all this Dollar Tree stuff away. So I'm going to say to you guys, thank you for coming here today. And thank you for hanging out. I didn't even realize how long we were going for, guys. It's like, you know, when you're having fun, it's just like, woo, let's go. And I'm actually surprised I haven't had to use the bathroom. Like, you guys know, I got bladder issues, you know? So I'm like, woo, look at that. Yeah. I know, TMI. Anyways, so I think we've covered every topic today. We have talked about a lot of stuff and I definitely appreciate all you guys hanging out and I can't wait to see you guys next week. Oh, I did want to ask, you guys can obviously always send me a private message because I talk to most of you private message anyways. Um, but if you guys think about a night live, I was thinking, and I wouldn't, I don't know if I would do crafting, you know, like maybe just kind of like a hangout. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it, but I thought if you guys wanted to do like a night live once in a while, we could try it. Um, it's just that night lives is you guys saw what happened when people were coming in. Obviously I go everywhere. I'm like, Hey, Hey, you, you, what's going on? You know? And I'm not focused on you guys. Um, so night lives are, would be a little different because I have both the dogs are a little hyper. And bye, Brenda. And bye, Crystal. Bye, everybody who's already leaving. And I'm not saying bye to you guys. So uh, if you're leaving, bye, 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 bye. Um, so if we do a night live, that would um, the, be the only issue is the dogs get hyper at nighttime. And at nighttime, I'm tired and the kids are all coming in with their friends and all that kind of stuff. So, but if you guys want, we can try it. So you let me know if you guys think you want to try a night live, if nights are better for you and easier for you guys to hop on, let me know. I'm open. I'm here. You know, I'm just, I'm just home. So it's cool. We can do it. We'll figure it out. So I uh, appreciate all you guys. So thank you so much.
And I hope I see you guys tonight on Lainey's channel for Family Feud. Yeah. And I'll see you guys soon because I got a lot of fun videos coming up. I'm excited. Like super excited. So anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Oh, thank you, Detria. You're so sweet. And thank you for like hanging out, guys. I'm just, I'm really happy. I'm just, I'm so happy that I don't want to start crying. <laughs> I'm just going to say I'm happy. Thank you. And I'll see you guys soon. So have a great day. Have a great weekend. And bye.